What's going on guys? I just got done doing the video on my full uh, Stalker Stick Bows Coyote FXT build. Um, what I want to talk about today is my process for serving in my knock sets or my indicators on my string as far as where I need to put my finger for my string walking, that kind of thing. That's what I want to talk about today's video and let's go ahead and jump on into it. All right, so like I said, I just got done doing my setup video for this uh, particular longbow. So like I talked about in that video, I actually string walk. So what that means is I need either an indication on the string where I need to put my fingers or I need to use my tab to mark. Uh, you can do it either way. My preference is to actually run uh, little indicators on the string. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I tie those in couple of things i have my knock sets tied in in blue and what i will do with well, my preference is is to tie in my string indicators in some some sort of a different color so what i'm probably going to do is a purple and a probably an orange or a green i'll probably do purple and orange uh, it really doesn't matter. I just like a bright color that I can see when it gets down close to dark. And then I'll just remember what I have mine set at. So like I talked about in that video, my knock set uh, all the way up to the bottom of my uh, arrow knock is 25 yards point on. So uh, what I got now is a indication mark for 20 and an indication mark for 10 to 15. For me, uh, from 10, for pretty much zero to 15, it's close enough that it really doesn't matter. Uh, I just do one indication mark there, but then 20, and then, like I said, point on is 25, so that's all the way up to the base of my knock. Uh, so I'll have two indication marks and then my knock sets. My knock sets are already tied in, but the process for tying these in is essentially exactly the same. All right, so what I'm using is just your standard BCY 3D material. That seems to work pretty well for myself and it holds very, fairly well on the string. So easiest way to do this, take a Sharpie. Lay your Sharpie down, take your string, grab one end of your string and lay it down on top of the Sharpie. Give yourself enough that you can grab onto this string pretty well when you're done. And then what I like to do is just go around my Sharpie however many times I plan on doing this. And so for my knock sets, I'll do like four or five revolutions. And then for like my little indications here, I'll just do three. So that's one, two, three and then you want to take the end of your material here and you want to go through the opposite side of where your tag end is sticking out so my tag end is sticking out the top or uh, it would be on my left so i want to pull against that so let me pull the sharpie out so you can see it so now i have one end here and I have one end here, and then I'll just pull those in on each other. And that pulls in tight. Before I really cinch it down, well, I might've got it just a little too tight. Normally what I wanna do before I cinch it all the way down is spin it on my serving till I get up to where my indicator is well I tied that one too tight it's a good thing I got a bunch extra but you can see guys how well like I just barely cinched down on that and it 
literally just locked right in and that was just three revolutions okay, so let's go ahead and do this again to kind of help with the video anyway you'll be able to see it a few more times so we're going to go one two three now we're going to go opposite of where our little end is sticking out already, which is coming out the top. So I'm gonna go in the top and come out the bottom. Pull my Sharpie out. This time, I'm gonna be right where I need to be before I cinch this thing down. And you can kind of play with this and go as many revolutions as you want to or as few revolutions as you want to. And then what I like to do just to kind of save my fingers a little bit is I'll take and run it around my needle nose pliers. I'll cinch one end down. And I'll go ahead and cinch this other end down. And that little indicator is not going anywhere. Now, if you don't want it to be quite so tight, you could always leave it a little bit looser and then you can actually spin it. Like if I was gonna actually set this uh, for like adjustment, like if I wanted to try to find my indicator or find where my indicator needs to be, I could tie this on and it'll actually spin with your serving. The way I'm doing this, this thing is not gonna spin. It is there forever until I cut it off. And lastly, just take you a little torch. I have that thing way too hot. Take you a little torch. Get those ends burnt down. All right, so there's one little indicator. I'll go ahead and tie in another one so that way you get to see it again. This one I'm gonna tie in orange and this is gonna be my 20 yard marker. So I'm gonna go over the top. We're gonna go one, two, three. Then I'm gonna go in from the top, come out the bottom. So now I have my ends going different directions. Just like so. Like I said, then I go ahead and cinch it down because I do not want mine to move. And then I'll just take and burn those ends. You don't have to burn them with a little torch like this. A regular lighter will work just fine. This is just my preference. Those are burnt down. And now, as I string walk up the string, finger will come up to here, good to go for 10 to 15, then up to the orange one for 20, and then all the way up to the base of the knock for 25. And that's pretty much it, guys. So that's how I serve in my indicators. And like I said, I just go five to six revolutions uh, to tie in my knock sets. They hold great, they hold up great. And for myself, I've got 
purple, orange, and blue. Uh, you can use whatever colors you want. Those are just the colors that I chose to use. So hopefully you got something out of this, guys. Hopefully you enjoy these videos. I'm planning on trying to bring you more trad bow content. Uh, comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks for watching. Remember to live your life to the fullest and use your passions to bless others. We'll catch you on the next one.